Hey everyone, welcome back to today's Bridal Madness Monday, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it, and also be sure to give this video a thumbs up, that way you guys can stay part of this little family we got going on here, and let's just jump right into the video. Off with Dr. Brand's Pores No More Face Primer, I'm going to go ahead and put that all over my face, I'm going to go and let that sink into my face while I go ahead and do my eye makeup. I already primed my eyes as well, and so I used a different primer today, I just used something very quick and easy. That's what I like to do when I'm not going out anywhere. I'm going to be taking the Milani Matte Blush in the shade T Rose, and I'm going to be putting that into my crease with a very fluffy crease brush. You want to make sure it's very, very fluffy so the color is very, very dispersed. I'm going to be taking the Milani Matte Blush in the shade romantic rose and put that in the crease with a different crease brush that's a little bit more dense so you get more of that pink color onto your crease. You want to be more specific where you put it, you want to make sure you put it into the crease and not onto the eyelid, so keep that very more into the crease area. I'm going to be taking the Tarte blush in the shade Party, which I got in a birthday thing from Sephora. I'm just going to be putting that in a more denser crease brush and I'm going to be putting that into the crease and kind of focusing it just in the crease alone for a nice deepening effect. I'm going to be taking e.l.f.'s liquid molten eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold. I'm just going to be putting it on right by my lashes first to kind of draw out where I want my cut crease. And then I'm going to be taking it up into my crease and really cutting and carving out that crease. So just go ahead and do that. I find it very easy to do a cut crease. I just think it's because I do draw a lot. So I'm kind of used to using stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and take the Sephora eyebrow pencil in the shade Midnight Brown and go ahead and fill in my eyebrows with it. I really do love this product. It's waterproof. I think it's a really good shade. It's a little bit too warm, but it's something I can easily wear because it's neutral warm, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm going to keep them to their natural shape. I don't like filling them in more than what they are. So I'll just go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and take my concealer in the shade Light Ivory by Wet n Wild. I do think it is a little dark now that I'm looking at it, but because I, I think it's just because I didn't wipe off the edge of my doe foot applicator, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with my finger. I'm going to make sure it's blended out. If you think this color is too dark, let me know. I thought this was like a good skin tone match when I first put it on. If not, it was somewhat close, but maybe, I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments below what you think. I'm just going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Powder and a clean crease brush. I'm just going to be putting that into my, um, underneath my eyes to set all my powder, my concealer, I mean. I love this technique. I really like how it turned out. I really think it's a lot easier than using a fluffy brush because I can really focus on where I want to put it because I'm not putting it all over my face. Let me take my Milani Matte Blush in the shade Romantic Rose and go ahead and put that on the apples of my cheeks. Go ahead and blend that out with my finger just in case I put on too much. Then I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Toughest Taupe Eye Cream Eyeshadow and put that in the hollows of my cheeks. I like to use this color to contour. I find it's very good. It's not that ashy. I feel like it's a perfect shadow kind of color for my skin tone. I'm going to say that on camera I do look a lot more pink toned than I do in person. If you see me in person, I just look like the closest thing to Casper the Ghost. So I just want to throw that out there that I do look a lot more pink in person. 
Taking the Maybelline Rose Gold Highlighter, I'm just going to put that on the high points of my cheekbones and take that into a boomerang right by my temples. I like doing this. I think it really makes the give a lifted effect to the face. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that on my brow bone to cut above my temples and then put that up on my brow bone as well. I'm going to put it on the tip of my nose and then bring the excess up to the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to be taking the lipstick in the shade Warm Me Up by Maybelline and I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my lips. I really think it's a good natural kind of color and a very nice pink. I think ties in the whole look together perfectly. Then I'm going to be taking my NYX setting spray and go ahead and set my face. It is a matte setting spray. I do love a good matte setting spray because I did use an illuminating primer. So I think this is a good balance and I do think it makes everything look nice and natural. This is a finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.